Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the external pressure on the roof and second level roof. Just to show you where we're up to, um, I actually skipped, so we've done one, two, uh, three, we skipped to five in the previous video, and now I'm going back to four, the external pressure uh, on the roof and second level roof. So, the pressure formula is the exact same as we've seen in all previous videos, uh, just expanding it out. What we're going to be needing to find, all these values are the same, we just need to find CPE, we need to find that. And then for Vdes theta, we need to take Vdes at the roof and second level roof. Okay, so Vdes is not going to be changing like before, like the windward wall or anything like that. We're just going to take the desired wind speed at the second level roof and at the roof for each of those cases. So let's do the top roof first. So we're going to be doing this top flat roof over there on the tower. Now it's a flat roof. Uh, alpha is less than 10 degrees because it's flat. Uh, the height of the building, so the height of this roof is four lots of two, sorry, two lots of four rather, and four lots of three. So working that out, we'd get 20 meters. Um, we can say that D, the length of the side wall, is 20 meters. So this is the uh, footprint of the building, of the, sorry, of the upper roof, and the side wall, so the wind's coming from this direction. So the side wall, which is D, is 20 meters. And then we can say that H on D, 20 on 20 is 1.0. Also, the design wind speed at the roof is 52 meters per second. So we saw that in, um, we've seen that in when we did the design wind speeds in that Excel spreadsheet. You can go back to it if you want. I'm just quoting it over here. Okay, but we've already calculated that. So we're going to go to table 5.3a on page 32. So if I show you that table, table 5.3a, this is on page 32. This is for, let me zoom in. So this is for roofs, external pressure coefficient.